Are you tired of experiencing PTO shaft malfunctions? Well, in this video, I will show you how to properly choose and install the proper PTO shaft so you never have to experience that again. I'm Mike with the YouTube channel, MikeP7810, and I've partnered with Friday Parts to show you guys a proper installation process in this video. Let's get started. The first step is determining the proper shaft to fit your machine. This is key because you want to match the shaft to the torque converter to your piece of equipment. Making sure it matches provides the best functionality and efficiency for your piece of equipment. When you're ready to order, here are some of the factors to consider when you're making your purchase. You want to measure the overall length of your shaft when it's compressed and when it's extended. A shaft that's too long or too short won't function properly and could damage your equipment. You want to check the horsepower rating of your tractor to make sure your PTO shaft can handle the rating. This is crucial to be preventing breakdowns under heavy loads. Next is to verify the connection type on both sides. Some have quick disconnect yokes, while others have bolt-on designs. It's important to find the proper one that fits your tractor. As you can see here, I have the John Deere 2940. Next, you want to look for a PTO shaft that comes with a proper cover and guard. These features are meant to keep you safe so you don't come into contact with them during use. With this knowledge, you can order your new PTO shaft with confidence. Next, we're going to talk about the universal joint. You want to make sure it fits perfectly without any gaps or misalignments. This will help avoid costly downtime from mechanical failures. Now we're going to look at the spline teeth and joint diameter. You want to count the number of spline teeth and measure the joint diameter very carefully. These small details will make a huge difference in whether your new drive shaft will work properly. Another important part is the spline fork design. It's important to check how the forks connect. The right fit will ensure a smooth connection in between parts, preventing any future problems. With these details out of the way, let's move on to installation. Here we have the Friday Parts PTO shaft. Let's unbox it and inspect it for installation. Make sure your tractor is parked and on level ground, and make sure your engine is shut off to ensure safety. So you want to align your shaft in the proper position on both your tractor and your implement side. Attach the yokes carefully by sliding them onto this PTO stub shaft, making sure the splines are aligned. Make sure to install any locking pins or bolts if your shaft requires them. So now you want to rotate the shaft by hand to make sure there's no restrictions or misalignment. So now you want to verify the protective cover is intact. This is super important for safety as it's going to protect from debris and other hazards. Next, you're going to want to start your tractor and engage the PTO and then do a visual inspection to ensure there's no vibrations, bad sounds, or anything looks out of place. Now that your PTO shaft is installed, you want to make sure it's in great shape and it doesn't break, right? Here's some daily maintenance tips you should follow. Regularly inspect the shaft for any wear and damage. So you want to lubricate the universal joints frequently to prevent any stiffness or corrosion. Make sure the protective cover is intact and free of any cracks. So check the connections and fittings often to prevent any loosening during use. So you want to clean the drive shaft and joints after every use to remove any kind of dirt or debris. Thank you for watching this PTO selection and installation guide video. I hope this helps you select the proper shaft and get it installed properly. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other videos for more helpful tips and tricks on keeping your equipment running smooth.